is important that the Mantu TB skin test be done correctly and read accurately. It takes practice to be good at doing this. Your skill in administering the test, reading the results and responding appropriately are important to the control of tuberculosis. Prepare for the test by gathering the necessary supplies and equipment. Meet with the client to explain the test, obtain informed consent and make certain there are no contraindications to giving the test. Answer any questions and ensure the client can return within 48 to 72 hours to have the skin test read. Begin with hand hygiene, then check tuberculin has been stored according to guidelines and has not expired. Draw up exactly 0.1 milliliters of tuberculin. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab and let dry. With the bevel of the needle facing up, insert the needle at a 15 degree angle just below the surface of the skin. You will feel some resistance as the tuberculin is injected. Placed correctly, the injection will produce a wheel 6 to 10 millimeters in diameter. If a wheel this size does not appear, the test must be repeated 5 to 10 centimeters from the first site or on the opposite arm. Dispose of the needle in a biohazard container. Gently dab any blood with a cotton ball. Do not press on the wheel and do not cover the site with a band-aid. Remove gloves. Perform hand hygiene and complete required documentation. Observe the client for 15 minutes for possible allergic reaction. Read the TB skin test 48 to 72 hours after tuberculin is administered. Begin with hand hygiene. Under good lighting, examine the client's arm. Lightly palpate the site to feel for a hard, raised and dense area of swelling or induration. If no induration, document as zero millimeters. If induration is found, locate the edges of the induration on the transverse axis of the arm, the same direction as the watch band. Use a ballpoint pen held to a 45 degree angle to mark the outer edges of the induration. The pen will stop at the edge of the induration. Use a caliper ruler to measure the diameter of the induration. Document in millimeters of induration. Redness can occur with or without induration and is not included in the measurement. Document any blistering with or without induration. This may indicate an allergic sensitivity. Caution is advised regarding subsequent testing. Complete documentation of the skin test result. Provide a record for the client. If appropriate, advise client of any next steps. This chart helps to determine a positive result and therefore reportable to public health. Staff will consult with you regarding the significance of the reading. In duration of 0 to 4 millimeters is considered positive. If the client has HIV infection with immune suppression, and the likelihood of TB infection is high. For example, the client is from a population with a high prevalence of TB infection, is a close contact of an active contagious case, or has an abnormal chest x-ray. In duration of five to nine millimeters is considered positive if the client has HIV infection, is a close contact of an active contagious case, is a child suspected of having tuberculosis disease, has an abnormal chest x-ray with fibronodular disease or has immune suppression as a result of TNF-alpha inhibitors or chemotherapy. In duration of 10 millimeters or more is considered positive in all other situations. Let's review. Prepare by gathering necessary supplies, getting informed consent and making sure the client can return within 48 to 72 hours. To give the test, first wash your hands and don gloves. Be sure the tuberculin has not expired, clean the injection site with alcohol, and inject just below the surface of the skin, checking for a wheel of 6 to 10 millimeters. Read the test by checking the arm for induration. No induration is recorded as 0 millimeters. If there is induration, mark edges with a ballpoint pen, then measure diameter with a caliper ruler. If the result is positive, report promptly to the public health unit. In some circumstances, a second TB skin test is done one to four weeks after an initial negative result. This should be done for persons who may require subsequent testing. 
such as health care and correctional workers at time of hire, people who are new residents of a long-term care facility or retirement home, or for people who are traveling to a TB endemic country for a prolonged period of time. It is important that the Mantu TB skin test be done correctly and read accurately. It takes practice to be good at doing this. Your skill in administering the test, reading the results, and responding appropriately are important to the control of tuberculosis.